B1 to 10 minute mass. This is IGCSE, Cambridge International Exam, Mathematics, Paper 4 Extended, February March 2019, 058042. Okay, let us start the first question. Amul and Rhea deliver six, uh, 645 bracelets in the ratio Amul uh, to Rhea 11, 11 to 4. Calculate the number of bracelets Amul delivery. Let us see the ratio. The ratio is here. The total here will be 15. So Amul will receive 11 over 15 multiplied by 645 so the answer will be 11 over 15 by 645 473 473 here A here B and the ratio, this is the value for Amul. Amul drives his truck at an average speed. This is the average speed, 50 km per hour. He leaves at 7 and arrives at 11.15. Calculate the distance he drives. So speed is equal to distance divided by time. Speed is 50 km per hour. And he start at 7, arrive at 11.15. Let us calculate the time. Bring your calculator. 11 hour 15 minutes minus 7 hour 0 minutes. So the value 4 hour and 15 minutes. So now 4 hour. And 15 minutes. 15 minutes means 15 divided by 60. 15 divided by 60. So 15 divided by 60. So it's 0 0.25 hour. 0 0.25 hour. Okay. So now time. Our time from here, time is equal to 4.25 hours. So distance is equal to speed 50 multiplied by 4.25. So the total distance is kilometer is equal to 50 by 4.25. 50 by 4.25 will equal to the total distance 212.5 212.5 km Ray drives his van a distance 54 km he leaves at 10.55 and arrives at 12.38 so now the given data here is the distance now he need what? He need the average speed. He need S. So again, the time, the same step. The time here, time will equal, let us go to our calculator, 10, sorry, 12, 38, minus 10 hour, 55, so it's one hour forty three, one hour forty three minutes. Again, forty three divided by sixty will equal to fifty three, forty three, sorry, forty three divided by sixty. The answer will be zero point seventy two. 0 0.72 hours, 0 0.72 hours. So the total time here, time will equal to 1.72. The speed is equal to distance, which is 50, 
divided 1.72 the time. So the total speed will equal to 50 divided by 1.72 equal to the speed is 29. The speed is equal to 29.07. So 29.07 kilometer per hour. Okay, 29.07 kilometer per hour. Praia has five in the identical places. His uh, parcels, he each parcel has mass. This is the mass, 17 kilogram. Correct to the nearest kilogram. Correct to the nearest kilogram. Find the upper boundary. So one divided by two will equal to 0 0.5. So find the upper boundary of the total 50 parcel. So the number of parcel is 50 by 17.5. 17 plus 0 0.5, it will be 7, 17 plus 0 0.5, 17.5. So 50 by 17.5 will equal to 875, 875 kilogram. 875 kilogram. Okay, let's go ahead to another question. 67 of the 645 bracelets are damaged on the journey. Calculate the percentage bracelets are damaged. So 67 of the total 645 will be damaged. Multiplier by direct 100 to find the percent. So 67 divided by 645 will equal to by 100 so 10% point 39 10.39% so here 10.39% 29 bracelets each have a value of $68 by writing each of this number correct to the one significant figure find the estimate for the total value of this 25 bracelets so 29 bracelets find the, the, the value of this 29 bracelets let us read this question carefully he start by writing each of these numbers Correct to one significant figure. So he need this number correct to one significant figure and this number correct to one significant figure. So 29 correct to one significant figure 30. And 68 correct to one significant figure will be 70. So now after I finish the Find the correct one significant figure. Find the estimate for the total value of the uh, persons. So 30 now by 70, which is will be 21, 20, uh, $2,100. $2,100. Okay. Let us go to another question. Without doing calculation, complete this statement. The calculation total value of these 29 parcels is less than the answer in part FI because we round up each number. Why the value here, the value or the actual value of the 29 parcels is less because we round up both or each number. Okay? We 
the to the post number we make it round up instead of 29 we make it 30 instead of 68 we make it 70 so both of the number is round up okay and this question i already solve by freehand so let us read and describe what i did describe full fully the single transformation that maps triangle a into triangle b this is the given map here it's only a and b okay now we need to describe the translation or the transformation of b to a or a to b okay so as you see b and a the translation between them is reflection so the first statement he need two marks the first one is reflection so reflection reflection what where is the x of reflection the x of the reflection now we need to find this x how to find this x let us count one two three four five how many how many square between b and a how many square from this point you see this point and this point how many square one two three four five so after you count find the midpoint so it will be the midpoint one two and half and then start to draw this line start to draw this line this line now is here this line is at this location so this line is indicated for what indicated for x at at x here all all the x is here is 1.5 so reflection in x equal to 1.5 1.5 okay so again you find this the first point and then the second point and then you start to count the number of the square find the midpoint so find the midpoint and then draw this line so reflection about this line reflection one mark x equal to 1.5 the second mark let us see the second question triangle a on into triangle c so i have a and i have c it's clear that between a and c it's rotation so the first statement i need he need to see with one mark rotation rotation how much this rotation this rotation this is vertical now it's became this line here it's vertical it's became now horizontal so this is a line vertical it's became horizontal and this line horizontal became vertical so the angle of rotation and this is the second to mark is 90 degree this rotation is clockwise or anti-clockwise so you can see if you see that the line that i make here this is point one if i write here one so this is one and if this is point two this is point two so the rotation now the rotation now is anti-clockwise so the rotation is anti clock y is with angle 90 now what is the center of the rotation where is the center uh, of the rotation follow me to find the center of rotation do this step this is point one right what is the coordinate of point one minus three and two so the coordinate of point one minus three and two the same point one here what is the coordinate of this point? The coordinate of this point minus 3 and minus 4. Minus 3, minus 4. Okay? Follow me. 
the, ro the, ro the center of the rotation will equal to now I have point 0.1 before rotation minus 3 and 2 point 0.1 after rotation is minus 3 minus 4 so this point there is no change in the point so the first point of rotation coordinate is 0 because there is no there is no change in the there is no change in the coordinate there is no change in the x coordinate so the first point of rotation will be zero the second point which is y minus four plus two divided by two so minus four plus two minus 4 plus 2 divided by 2 will equal to minus 2 divided by 2 equal to minus 1 so the second point the second y coordinate of the rotation will be my 0 and 1 so now the center center of the rotation will equal to 0 and minus 1 0 and minus one okay let us see the another part on the grid draw the image of triangle a after an enlargement scale factor minus half center three and zero center three and zero we go first to the center which is x equal to three and y equal to zero so where is the center the center is here so this is our center now we start to make the line from two from point two to three and extend this line and then from this point point one to three and extend this line how many how many square here one two three four so four squ four square i need half scale so i need only two square so i start to draw here one two so this is will be point one and here will be point two after enlargement or after enlargement scale with equal to scale factor equal to minus half so we decrease it by minus half okay and then we start now this is two square so it will be one square in this direction and then we connect it together so this is your answer this is your answer okay let us so the step again you connect you find the center and then you connect the one of the one of the point of the triangle with the center and they extend this line and then you go to the second point connect with the center and they extend this line now let us see the scale factor how much the scale factor minus half so we need to decrease the the triangle by half okay so let us start one two three four so instead of four four divided by two equal to what four divided by two equal to two so i need now to draw here two square and then here one two square so i draw one square and then i connect together to find the new triangle okay second question the triangle A after translation by the factor minus 3 and 2. Now we need to make translation for the triangle A by factor minus 3 and 2 and 1. To start to solve this question, go to the any point, point 1 as an example. Point 1 now minus 3 and 2. Go beside the vector that he need and to make plus again point one three minus three and two so minus three and two 
So the answer here for point 1 will be minus 6 and 3. So now this is the new position of point 1. The new position of point 1. Let us go up. Minus 3. So the new position is minus 6. The new position here is minus 6 and 3. So minus 6. Here is minus 6. Now 3. Here is 3. This is point 1. Now 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is point 2. Now 1, 2, 1, 2. And this is, will be your triangle. Okay. So again, if we give me the vector, I start to choose any point of the shape, find the coordinate of this point, start to add the coordinate of the point. To the vector, find the new position of this point. Go to the graph and find the position of this point and start to count the number of the square to draw your triangle. To draw your triangle. Okay? Let us see the, uh, the another question. Triangle A after transformation that is presented by the matrix 0, 1, 1, 0. Triangle A after transformation that represent by the matrix 0, 1, 1, 0. To solve this question, we do the same step that we did here. But instead of adding the point, we multiply the point. So let us make the matrix. This matrix is all the point of triangle A. So the first point is minus 3 and 2. So I will write here minus 3 and 2. Second point, second point is here. This point is minus 1 and 2. Minus 1 and 2. So I write here minus 1 and 2. The last point, the last point is here, which is minus 3 and 6. Minus 3 and 6. Minus 3 and 6. Now I do the what? I start to bring my calculator and multiply the both matrix together. Let us add matrix B mode. Matrix which is 6. Now matrix B is 2. This matrix is 2 by 3. 2 by 3 is 4. Let us start to add the matrix. Minus 3. Enter. And then minus 1. Equal. And then minus 3. Equal. And then 2. Equal. 2. Equal. 6. Equal. We add matrix B. Now we go to shift 4. This is the matrix. Which matrix I need? 3. By Again, shift 4, matrix B is number 4, and then equal. So the new position of the point, the new position of the point will be 2 and minus 3. So point 1 will be 2 minus 3, and then 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, second point. And finally, 6 and minus 3. 6 and here minus 3. Okay. So 6 and minus 3. Okay. Let us now go up and draw this point. Point 1 will be 2 and minus 3. 2 and minus 3. So from 2, this is point 1. Okay. Then point, the, the another corner is 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1. Here. Which is this point. And then the final point here is how much? Is 
6 minus 3. 6 and minus 3. So the location of your new triangle will be this one. Okay. This is the answer of 3. Okay. Let us see the another question. Sashila, Rafi, and Talika each have a bag of balls. Each of these bags contains 10 red and 8 ball blue. So the total, if in each bag, the total is 18. 10 plus 8. 10 red and 8 blue. Sashila take one ball at random from her bag. She take, collect one. Find the probability that she take the red ball. How many one red in her bag? 10. How much the total in her bag? 18. So probability to take red is 10 divided by 18, which is 5 over 9. 5 over 9. So the answer here is 5 over 9. Ravi take two balls. Ravi now collect two balls at random from his bag. He collect two balls from his bag without replacement. Without replacement. Find the probability that one of the ball is red and one of the ball is blue. One of the ball is red and one of the ball is blue. Okay. So now I need what I need. Red and blue or blue and red. The first one will be red and the second one will be blue. Or he collect blue in the first time and then red in the second time. Or here in this equation, or here means plus. Or all the time means a plus. So let us write. Red, the probability of red is 10 over 18. Right? Multiplier by. Probability of blue is 8 divided by 17. Why 17? Because he already collect the first ball. So the remaining in the bag will be 17. Plus. If he collect the first ball is blue, blue is 8, so 8 divided by 80. How many balls in the bag now? 70. So the probability of red will be equal to 10 over 70. Okay, so this is uh, how we write the equation. Again, if he collect the first ball, the first ball as red. What is the probability of the red? 10 over 18. How many ball remaining here in the bag? How many ball remaining? The remaining is 17. So the probability of blue will be 8 divided by 17. Plus, the what if he collect the first one blue? So 8 over 18 because the total, the bag is still have 18. Now, when he collect one blue, how many all remaining the remaining is 70 so the probability of collect red is 10 10 over 70 so let us calculate this equation so it's a 10 over 18 plus multiplier sorry multiplier by 8 over 17. Close the bracket. Plus. Open another bracket. Now 8. Fraction 18. Plus. 
sorry, my boy. Boy, ten fraction seventeen. Go up here and close the bracket. So the answer will be eighty by fifty three. Eighty by one fifty three. Okay. 153 the probability is 80 divided by 153 that he collect the both wall one of them is red and one of the ball is blue okay let us see Talika take three balls at random from her back without replacement she so she, she he collect, she collect three without replacement. Calculate the probability that the three balls are come in the same color. So she need red, 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 or blue, blue, blue. She need red, 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 or again, or blue, blue, blue. Again, blue means, or means plus. So let us see. The probability of red, the first red is 10 over 80. Boy, how many red remaining? 9. How many total remaining in the back? 17. So 9 over 17, the second one. Boy, now how many red remaining? 8. How many? Total ball remaining in the back 16. So 8 by 16. 8 divided by 16. Plus the same. How many blue ball we have? 8. 8 over 18. This is the probability of the first one. Boy. Probability of the second one. How many blue remaining? 7. How many total in the back? 70. Boy. Ha. Huh. How many board remaining blue? Six. How many total in the bag? Sixty. So this is the probability that she will collect three ball red or three ball blue. Let us start to make this equation. Ten by eighteen by nine. Divided by 17 by 8 by 16 and then close this bracket plus the second one 8 by 80 by 7 by 17 by 6 by 16 Close your bracket, find your answer. 11 over 51. 11 over 51. So the probability that she collect the three ball in the same color will be 11 over 51. 11 over 51. Let us start another question. The diagram shows an incomplete scale drawing of marketplace a b c d a b c d at cx b, d at certain location here the scale is one centimeter for five meters scale is one five, one centimeter five meter d lie on cx such that angle d a b so the angle here First part here B and A and then D. The angle is equal to 75 degree. Bring your tractor and put it here. In this location. And start to measure angle in this direction. 75 degree. 75 degree. And then start to draw the location of D. Now, this angle, this is the position now of D. 
you must make good location for D and this angle now is 75 degree okay on the diagram draw line a d and to mark the position of d so this is the step that we do find the actual length of the pc in the park if you bring your ruler and measure pc you will see that pc is equal to 9.5 centimeter 9.5 centimeter he set up here in the question that one centimeter is represent five meter in the life so one centimeter is equal to five meter in the field now he need what he need the the side the lens in the marketplace so now how many centimeter i have 9.5 centimeter so what is the the exact length in meter so b c in meter is equal to or in the market is equal to 9.5 by 5 9.5 by 5 let us start to make 9.5 by 5 so 47.5 meter 47.5 meter so your answer here is 47.5 meter okay let us go ahead to the another question in this part use roller and the compass only street select uh, sellers are allowed in the part of the marketplace that more than 35 meters from A and nearest to C than B and nearest to C, D than B, C. On the diagram, construct the shaded and shaded the region where street sellers are allowed. Let answer part by part and draw and read carefully. The first part more than 35 meters from A. Again, the scale is 1 centimeter is equal to 5 meter in the field. So now 35 meter in the field represent how many centimeter? X here will be equal to 35 divided by 5, by 5 will equal to 7 centimeters. So I need the point who has distance equal 7 cm from A. From A. Open your compass. Okay. With this distance which is 7 cm. And start to go to drawing. Draw arc. Draw arc. So stop at A. And make arc. This is the center A and the radius of this arc here is 7 cm. So open your compass, draw arc, here this arc, okay, this arc with radius 7 cm. Let us read the second part, the second part said nearest to C, nearest to C then B, nearest to C then B. So where is C? This is C. Where is B? This is B. So the area will be near to C than B. So I need to what? I need now to find the midpoint of the line CB. Find the midpoint of the line CB. To find the midpoint of the line, start to open the your compass with the distance BC and then stop at B and make arc and then go again at B and make the second arc go now near to C and then make arc go now to C and make the another arc of the another position connect between the two point it will be the midpoint of when you connect between the two line now you will have 
the midpoint of B, C, and the location will be over near to C, then B. Let us read the last condition. Nearest to C, D, then B, C. Nearest to C, D, then C, B. So we need now what? The intersection, the bisectors of angle C. Bisector of angle C. Open your compass with any distance. Stop at C and start to draw R. Again, with the same distance, draw the second arc. Open now at point, st stop now at point one and make arc. Stop now at point two and make the second arc. The second arc. Connect between point C and this point will give you the bisector of angle C. So now this angle will equal to this angle. The post angle will be equal. Okay. Let us start to find the area now. So we can hatch this area. So let us go to the question. Let's go ahead to the question and define the area. More than 35 meters from A. Where is more than 35 meters from A? It will be more than this line. So it will be here area will be above and then near to C then B so near to C then B it will be above also this line be here finally what CD near to CD then BC near to C so this is now the area you need to hatch. This is now the area you need to hatch. Okay? Careful and read everything in detail. Write, write the scale, write the scale of the drawing in the form of 1 to n. 1 centimeter is equal to 5 meter. So 1 centimeter will be 500 centimeter 500 centimeter careful the unit must be the same because it's at the drawing it's at the drawing. one to 500 one to 500 okay let us go to the another question now the table shows the value of y equal to 3 over 10 uh, x cubed minus 2x, 4x more than or equal minus 3 and less than or equal 3. This is the table. Some part is missing. Complete the table. To start to complete the table, we have x. So bring your calculator and start to write 3 divided by 10 by minus minus 3 power 3 minus 2 by minus 2 minus 3 2 by minus 3 so the first answer here is minus 2.1 minus 2.1 second one no need to repeat just with your arrow in a state of minus 3 minus 2 and go ahead in a state of minus 3, minus 2. So the answer will be here 1.6. 1.6. Again, when, the, when it's 1, again by your arrow. Remove minus 2 and make it 1. And here also, move with your arrow. Minus 2, make it 1. So the answer would be minus 1.7, minus 1.7. The last one is 3. So again, by your arrow, go delete this one, 3, and then move with your arrow. Instead of 1, 3, and enter 
So the answer is 2.1 plus 2.1. On the grid, draw the graph uh, of y. So I already start to add the point minus 3 and then 2.1 minus 2 point, minus 3 and minus 2.1 and then minus 2 and 1.6. Minus 2 and 1.6 and then minus 1.5 here and 2 and so on and so on draw the graph here. The second question on the grid also. On the grid opposite draw suitable straight line to the to solve the equation this equation. And so draw the straight line to solve this equation. So you need me to draw the straight line for which equation 4y equal to this part now. Half 1 minus x. Half 1 minus x. So I start to draw the nice table here. Here is x. Here is the value of the y. So he said that x is bigger than minus 3 and less bigger than or equal uh, than minus 3 and less than uh, 3. So I will try minus 3. So x equal minus 3, minus 1, 0, 1, 3. So this point will be enough to start to draw the diagram. Let us bring our calculator 0 0.5, open the bracket, 1 minus minus 3, so it will be plus 3. 1 half by 1 minus minus 3. So the answer will be 2 here minus 3 and 2 now half 1 minus 1 so half multiplied by 2 will equal to 1 at 0 it will be half at 1 will be 0 and then at 3 it will be minus 2 divided by minus 2 it will be minus 1 it will be minus 1 so now I can, it's a straight line, go up and start to put this point, start to put this point that I did and start to find, start to find the location, start to find the location of the intersection. Here, this part, this point, the solution, here this point is another solution and here the last point is the solution so the first point here is minus 2 or 2 and something okay and then here x is equal to minus minus 0 0.35 approximate and then here this point the x is equal to here 2.35. So the answer is minus 2. x is equal to minus 2. x is equal to minus 0 0.35. And x is equal to 2.35. The second part of the question for for x bigger than or less minus 3 and less than or equal 3, the equation 3 over 10x power 3 minus 2x equal to 1 has n solution. Write the value of the n. How many solution we have? 3. Why 3? Because the power here is power 3. x power 3. So how many number of solution? 3. Or how many number of solution we have here? Also 3. 